Now on Talking Solutions, Joe Vassallo, president of Paragon Pools. Good to have you back in. Thank you so much, Terry. It's great to be back. You know what we're going to talk about, of course. I do. And it's so wonderful that people like yourself and companies like Beasley invite us in to get the word out. We really think it's making a difference. I get more and more people who come in to see me to buy a pool. They have small children and I find now they are asking, what do I need to do to make Make sure everybody is safe. What options do I have and what can we do? That's something that didn't happen many years ago. It was just not on their mind. So I think what we're all doing is really making a difference. You are so, so right. This is great. Joe Vassallo with Mary Vale on Float Like a Duck. Now 14 years. Yeah, that part is the most amazing to me. I can't believe how much we've accomplished, how much we've grown, how many more partners we have from when we first started this. It's just incredible when we we look back on it. Time has gone by so fast, you know. Just like when kids Amazing. are growing up, you go, wow, what happened? <laughs> yeah, I remember when Ducky was a baby. So, yeah. <laughs> Ducky never ages. It always looks the same. I love Ducky. Joe, the thing that you referred to just a moment ago about how people, when they're coming in to purchase a pool for their home, they are, as parents, asking about making sure that everyone's safe. Because with you out front, as the spokesperson for Float Like a Duck now for 14 years, you're not only recognized in the Las Vegas area, you've had national recognition as a water safety expert. We have. Our program has garnered several national awards, and we're very proud of that. It also shows how far-reaching our program has been. That's all very exciting. I'm sure you still come across people who don't know what Float Like a Duck is. You're right. Some people have seen either signs or something. It is a water safety program, and what we want to do is introduce not only children, but parents to some of the facets of making sure everybody is safe around water. And we're not just talking pools here. If you're out on the lake, on the boat, at the beach, even in your own bathtub at home, incidents unfortunately take place where we least expect it. But we try to do it in a way that we promote having fun. We have our mascot, Ducky, who is just so lovable and children just gravitate toward Ducky. They love to run up to them, put their arms around them and hug them. Hopefully we're getting their attention when we start to do the education. The parents bring the child and there's an opportunity there for us to educate the parent as well, which is probably most important. I would agree. And as far as the age where you can start teaching a child about water safety, they are incredibly young. Yeah, there are actually places you can take infants who are four, five, six months old and they're learning learning how to swim underwater or float on their back. That's so important. And that's what we're trying to do when we say float like a duck is to get children at a very, very young age and teach them how to protect themselves and keep themselves safe out of harm's way. Absolutely. Yeah. And you think of a child floating on their back, their face is out of the water. Right. It allows them even to reach out for help if they should need help. Sure. Cry out. Mm -hmm. Get somebody's attention. At our event at the YMCA, which is going to happen Saturday from noon to four at the Heinrich YMCA, we teach children how to float on their back. We have the lifeguards there at the YMCA. They'll take a group of kids and teach them how to float. It's a free event, so if you have a small child that you'd like to have get involved in the process, just bring them down that day. A simple move, but it can be a life-saving move. Yes. We've been fortunate so far this year year, we have had zero incidents, and we'd like to keep it that way. Isn't it nice that you hear nothing year. about that? And you uh, go, yes, uh, yeah. that's success. Yeah, it's been exciting so far. Hopefully we keep that up. Well, I know Beasley Media Group, we are so excited again, be a media partner with you and all the other organizations that are a part of Float Like a Duck. This is the 14th annual and the right. big kickoff next Saturday, next the, Saturday 27th. the 27th. Yeah, And we have so many great partners, Las Vegas Fire and Rescue, who will be there, and they will teach some life-saving moves. moves. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Metro will be there. Usually we have a big fire engine and I think we'll have one this year as well where the kids can kind of get in and climb all over it and get behind the wheel of a big fire truck and have some fun and they give out little fire hats. We have 911 stations where we teach the kids to dial 911 in case of an emergency. So it, it covers a large gamut of life-saving devices and ways. And being that it is part 
part of the Memorial Day weekend, the 14th annual Float Like a Duck big kickoff. It's at the Heinrich YMCA pools over there across from Meadows Mall. And it's from noon to four. It's like free day at the pool for everybody. So who doesn't want to go out and play in the pools on Memorial Day weekend? And it's such a great pool. You have this giant slide, which is the most popular attraction. And for the little ones, they have the little tippy buckets, all kinds of spray guns and things like that. It's really a big fun event. There's usually prizes given out and all kinds of little things, chapstick or something along that line. We have a special (laughs) appearance this year. The Southern Nevada Desert Mermaids Synchronized Swim Team (gasps) will actually be performing at the event. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, that's really exciting. And that's an opportunity for individuals who are looking to join a synchronized swim team to ask questions, see what it's about. It's really fun. They actually have a competitive team as well as a recreational team. Mary Vale helped to create Float Like a Duck with Joe Vassallo from Paragon Pools. You two together actually created a really necessary thing for the safety of our kids. Yeah, Mary really gets all the credit. She's the creator of the event as well as the organizer of all of this. And she has done a phenomenal job growing the event and getting all these partners together. This year we have more sponsors helping out lots of people from our industry like Zodiac, Paramount, Pool Products, Pebble Tech. So many people are getting involved and helping us get that collateral material that we need to get out. And everything that we do is often in both English and Spanish. That's smart. Yeah. You know, I never get tired of talking about the A, B, C, and Ds of water safety. A, which is adult supervision, the most important. You can't say enough about that. It's not like anything else you would do with a baby or a small child that's just starting to run around the home. You know, you're going to put little locks on the cabinets. Sure. Take away any tables or anything that have sharp corners. You're going to make some kind of preparation. Put some plugs in the electrical outlets. It's no different with the small children. Children when they're outside around the pool. Adult supervision is extremely important. The B stands for barriers, so we want to have some type of barrier. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical barrier. It could be an alarm that alerts you to when the door is open or somebody tried to leave the house. It could be a fence. There's lots of different types of mesh fencing and things like that you could put up. C for classes, which you could learn if you come down to our event. CPR and things like that. There are classes that you can take in different places along with swimming lessons, of course. And then there's devices. Devices could be a life jacket or something along that line. We highly recommend that you use Coast Guard approved products because a lot of these little swimmy things. Floaties. Yeah, little floaties Mm -hmm. they put on their arm aren't necessarily going to guarantee that you're going to have a good device. So those are the A, B, C's and D's. And again, we stress mostly the A, which is adult supervision. That's the most important of all. And we know that kids see a pool or some big body of water, and it's very attractive. Oh, always. We want to go mean, there. Just think about it. A child sees a puddle, and they go in the middle of the puddle of and course. start stomping around. So there's a number of things that we teach, just to name a few, is to make sure if you're using the pool and you have lots of pool toys, the child's been playing with. When you're finished and you leave the area, remove the toys, because the child will want to go back and play with that toy. Sure. And will make every effort it possibly can to get to that toy. Make sure you take everything out of the pool, take away any of those attractions for the child. So many things that we can do to help keep our children safe. Joe Vassallo is with us from Paragon Pools. We're talking about the kickoff of the 14th annual Float Like a Duck. Year after year, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's a great free day for the whole family at the Heinrich YMCA Pools on Meadows Lane from noon to four this coming Saturday, the 27th. What a great way to kick off Memorial Memorial Day weekend. There's so much going on. It's not just teaching kids that float like a duck move. There are so many other groups. And like you mentioned, a lot of times you've had fire trucks and metros out there. There's stuff that the kids will enjoy being around. And it's a great day to learn water safety. Yeah, and we've had so much support. We had the Governor's Points of Light Award for our program. (gasps) From Governor Sandoval. Yes, there's a lot of publicity that goes along with that. So a lot of information did get out to the public. We've had great support from our mayor. She has given us a letter of support along with some of the assembly men and women like Lois Tarkanian and Stavros Anthony. We do programs and run safety events and Ducky makes appearances at a lot of these events 
as well as we go out. Any teachers out there who would like to have Ducky visit their school, we've made a number of appearances at different grammar schools and bring Ducky in and talk about having fun around water and at the same time getting that message of safety out there. You know, never go out and swim alone. Don't go out by the pool without mommy or daddy or somebody. There's so many little things we can talk about. If a teacher was thinking, I'd love to have Ducky out for some group said, gosh, could we maybe get Ducky scheduled? Would they go to the website, Mary? Yes, they can go to the website. There is a link there for Float Like a Duck. And within some of the drop downs, there's the place where they can contact for Ducky to make an appearance. Because I know kids love Ducky as much as I do. I think everybody loves <laughs> Ducky. Adults fight to get photos with Ducky. Yeah, Ducky, I'm sure, pops up all over social media when Ducky makes an appearance. One thing I would like to say is Float Like a Duck is definitely a passion project for myself. But if it wasn't for Joe and Paragon Pools giving us a platform where we can go out and do a big project like this and then be able to reach out to some of his industry associates and his other connections within the city, it wouldn't happen. You do have to have the support of of a business who is willing to put up time, financial support and everything. So kudos to Paragon Pools for recognizing how important this type of message is to the community. And kudos to you, Mary Vale, because there's a lot of setup and background work that I know goes on behind the scenes to make things like next Saturday's kickoff event for the 14th annual Float Like a Duck at Heinrich YMCA Pools from noon to four, that big free family event. Getting that all set up doesn't happen on its own. No, and we do have to give the YMCA a lot of credit because they provide all of the staffing. They provide the venue. They set up the stations. We have a lot of support from first responders across the community, from the fire department to Metro to the health department, and Nevada Highway Patrol is involved as well. So we'll have representatives from them as well. But one of the things that Joe didn't mention was just in April, the National Water Safety Congress recognized Joe and the program for its efforts in promoting water safety. So yes. that was a very nice national award to receive. See, you are nationally recognized as a water <laughs> safety expert. Joe, hopefully you're getting more positive feedback from parents who say, thank you. Oh, yeah. Recently had a friend say to me, do you have any idea how many lives you probably have saved? And I was like, whoa, that was a rather profound statement and really hit home. And boy, I'd really like to believe that's the case. It just really hit my heart. And as you were mentioning just moments ago, we haven't had any children being lost. Right. This is why this event right now is so important because we're we're coming into swim season, and this is where everybody really needs to be on alert. And it's not just in your home, but in public pools, at the lake, at the beach. You have to be cognizant of your surroundings and keep an eye on the children at all times. Yes, and especially in a big gathering, like a party, a poolside party, a barbecue. Right. Somebody has to be the designated watcher for the kids in the pool. Yes, and we highly recommend that. We call them designated needed water watchers. Their charge is to do nothing but keep an eye on the kids in the pool. They shouldn't have a cell phone with them. If they need a drink, a glass of water, you know, a Coke or something, somebody should take it to them. And parents can alternate, do it in 15, 20 minute or 30 minute intervals so everybody can enjoy a party. But at the same time, we do have at least one adult keeping an eye on things every second. People really should get out and join us for this big event event coming up next Saturday, the 27th. It's from noon to four at the Heinrich YMCA Pools. It's a free day at the pools for the family, which is great because stuff like that usually has a charge attached. You know, there's a cost involved, but it's free. There is education, fun and games, and I'm thinking prizes are involved. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things that the kids and the entire family will enjoy. Yeah, it's going to be a great event. And if you go on Ducky's Facebook page at Float Like a Duck, you will see a lot of photos from previous events and get a good flavor of what this is all about. Typically, we have somewhere around three to 500 people show up and the kids, you could just see they're having a blast, enjoying Ducky and having so much fun. And if you do wander onto the page at Float Like a Duck, we're also going to be putting out here pretty soon a new video 
we've met with people from all walks of life, from policemen to mermaids to YMCA lifeguards and so on, all different occupations. There's children. And the theme is learning to swim led me to. Then they finish the sentence, all giving their view of how swimming has helped them in some manner throughout their life, whether it was just to enjoy a good time and have fun to even an occupation. That'll be posted soon, but we also invite people to go on at Float Like a Duck and put their own video or a photo or just write a little story about how they enjoyed swimming, what swimming has done for them in their life, and we'd love to hear from everybody how swimming has affected their life. The Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash float like a duck. I'll make sure those links, everything we need are on our Talking Solutions Facebook page, along, of course, with a podcast of our discussion today. Oh, great. Some of the partners that are helping you with the 14th annual Float Like a Duck season also have new devices that make life around pools and around water even safer. Yes, no one is left out. There are devices for people who have different challenges, like chairlifts and things that can help people enter and exit a swimming pool. Even our pets, we need to worry about them as well. There are different little steps or devices that can be put into a pool that we can teach the pets, if they get into the pool and get Mm -hmm. in a little trouble, they can swim over to a certain corner and help themselves out. Within the actual construction of the pool, we do what we call wet decks that have about six inches of water. And they're fun even for the adults. We put little umbrella sleeves in there so you can sit in the water in six inches or drop a lounge chair on a table and just lay there in the water. But they're also great for pets and for babies and little children like that, that they can sit in six inches of water and enjoy the pool with everybody. Else. Yeah, everybody can be part of it, but everyone needs to be safe. You were mentioning about things for our pets. Who hasn't seen a video or a picture of people taking their dog out on the boat, but the dog's got a little life vest mm-hmm, on? Mm-hmm. Because I think it's wrong if we assume that all of our animals are able to swim just automatically, because they don't all swim. Right, and they could get lost in direction, not knowing where to exit a pool. So it's always good to take your pets over and show them, here, this is how you you get out and you'd be surprised once they do it once they know where to go (laughs) and they enjoy it yes yes it's going to be a lot of fun it's happening next saturday from noon to four at the heinrich ymca pool complex and that is not just one pool it is a complex there's a pool where you can do lap swimming there's a pool for the kitties and then you have the deeper pool where the slide goes in as well as an area where they have tippy buckets and different water features where the kids can play and have Lots of fun. So there's room, something for everybody. Great family event. Free of charge. Another special activity that we will have this year is that individuals who participated in our PSA videos, because there's going to be like a whole series of videos, we call them our Aqua Ambassadors, and they will be appearing throughout the day. So we will actually have an area where our Aqua Ambassadors will be telling their story about how water has played a positive impact in their lives. They will be there, and then we'll We'll have the videos there that people can watch and stuff. And if somebody wants some help making their videos so that they can post it, we'll help them with that as well. But I think having an opportunity where kids can meet individuals who have an aquatic experience in their life that they can share, I think that was a positive impact as well. So come out and meet our Aqua Ambassadors. You just keep adding more fun things. I know. Big it gets kickoffs. more and more complex every yeah. year. <laughs> Joe, your role is to be the spokesperson. And then Mary does a lot of work behind the scenes yes, with help. Yes. From you were mentioning the YMCA, how they are so gracious and they provide a lot of the people that are helping out for that day. Everybody working together makes this a better event every year. Mm-hmm. And Joe and Paragon Pools actually supports another event, the YMCA and their Safety Around Water program, which provides free swimming lessons to underserved youth. I think it's an eight part series of lessons and water safety skills. So through sponsorship with Paragon Pools, the YMCA is able to do that again this year. I think we put something like 225 kids through the program last year. That's great. So yeah, it's really a good program that they've developed and asked us to help them. If people are interested, they should just contact the YMCA about that program. Teach your kids to swim for free. That's necessary skills. Coming up next Saturday, noon to four, it is the 14th annual kickoff for Float Like a Duck. We are so blessed here in Las Vegas to have a really long swim season. Gives us lots of opportunities. If water safety 
safety is not a part of your formula, there is a chance that something could happen. Right. Like I would say, no matter what you do, if you get into a car, you put on a seatbelt. If you get on a plane, you know, there's certain things that you do. And being around water is looked at as always just so much fun. You can't wait. Some of the things that you need to still be aware of. You have to take the precautions. And if you take the precautions, you can enjoy a wonderful, wonderful summer and have lots of fun and enjoy water sports and events like you should. But keep that little modem of caution. Exactly. Joe Vassallo is with us, president of Paragon Pools and Mary Vale, together the creators of Float Like a Duck. It's been going on now for 14 years. Is this ever going to end? It seems like every year it just should continue and get bigger and bigger. I think we'll continue this as long as we can. It's a message that has to constantly get out there and it's a zero tolerant issue. It is something that can be prevented. So we want to make sure that we keep that goal in mind and never let up getting that message out, really making a difference. It's going to be part of your legacy. This is one of those things that toward the end of our days and we look back at what we've accomplished. Well, that would certainly be very welcome to me if that could be, along with someday shooting my age in golf, that would also be good. (laughs) Well, as we get older, that'll get easier now, won't it? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Float Like a Duck 2017. This is going to be the 14th annual Joe, is there anything I forgot? No, I think we really did a great job of covering everything. We're all ready. YMCA is ready. Ducky's ready. (laughs) And we're just anxious to get it going. Next Saturday, 27th of May, starting off our big Memorial Day weekend. It is the Float Like a Duck kickoff, and it's happening from noon to four, free of charge for the family. This is going to be a really fun event. Make this part of your Memorial Day plans, noon to four Saturday at the Heinrich YMCA Pool Complex. More details, all the links and everything on our Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with the podcast of our discussion today. Mary Vale, Joe Vassallo, Float Like a Duck, 14th Annual. I celebrate it every year. Congratulations. This is a great program, and we are so blessed to be able to shine a light on what a positive thing it is for our community. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. And thank you, Beasley, for being a supporter for our program. Next Saturday, noon to four. Thanks so much for coming to Talking Solutions today.